got this shit from Tina. I'm a savage. Yeah. Hello everyone, it is Hannah Hope and I am here with a new video. As I know, it's always been forever since I upload videos. I know that my schedule is horrible. <laughs> Just saying. Sorry this video is so dark. Just saying. So, I'm doing a review of Hamilton, the Broadway musical that premiered on Disney Plus um, July 3rd. So I watched it on July 3rd at my aunt's house because she had Disney Plus and I didn't have it yet. I recently got it. I love Hamilton. I love it. I've watched it. Today's the 19th of July. I've watched it about 10 times already. I know just about all the songs. I can have Lafayette's parts. I won't put the audio in here because YouTube gonna copyright me and take this video down. But it was so good and informational while also being a little bit comedic and entertaining at the same time. I learned more about Alexander Hamilton watching that play than I have in my actual history classes. So that's something that I enjoy. Songs are amazing. The acting is amazing. I was very happy that Lin-Manuel Miranda chose so many people of color to play these roles because they sold it perfectly. Renee Elise Goldsberry showed the hurt and portrayed Angelica in such an amazing way. It was amazing seeing David as Jefferson and Lafayette, Anthony as Anthony Ramos as Philip Hamilton, and um, John Lawrence, sorry, my part and Oak Onedowan as James Madison and Hercules Mulligan. So many more, like um, Jasmine Cephas Jones as Mariah and Peggy. They all played it so well. The bass in their voices, the high notes, the singing, the dancing, the ensemble was amazing. I love um, the girl who played the bullet, the hidden character who was always holding the gun and moving a bullet that narrowly missed Alexander. Um, Leslie Ohm Jr. who played Aaron Burr was amazing. Um, everything was so good about it. There was not one thing in there that I disliked. The characters had emotion, they had heart, they were real. Um, Landis Alexander, it was so, so good. Loved the songs. I think my top five in no particular order are Room Where It Happens, Satisfied, Ten Dual Commandments, Say No to This, and of course, Alexander Hamilton. Like, it's the opening song, the opening act is amazing. That gets you a feel of everybody. It was so good. If you haven't seen it on Disney+, Plus, you need to see this. Because I didn't see it live on Broadway when it came to my city, I think three years ago. But I'm glad that I got to see it on Disney Plus because there's so many things that I know that I would have missed if I watched it actually in the theater that I won't miss in while watching it on Disney Plus because of all the close-ups, the wide shots, everything. It was so, so good. Like I said, I've watched it over ten times. I've listened to the entire soundtrack about five times. Literally listened to it before I go to work when my mom's driving me in the car. Me and her listen to it non-stop. No pun intended. But everything about it is so good. I highly recommend watching Hamilton. I've gotten into it with one of my really close friends from school. Me and her bond over K-pop and Hamilton now. And of course, our just amazing friendship. But it's so good that we constantly talk about it. And we both said if our school did a Hamilton um, play for like a uh, winter or spring musical. I asked her what character would I be and she said I would definitely be Angelica because I have her attitude. <laughs> I have her attitude, most definitely. Because I have felt the way that Angelica has felt before. Many times. Same with um, Eliza. I felt just the way that they felt. In terms of the songs, the ways that... um. The incorporated little tidbits, like how Lynn said, 
Um, Mr. Lafayette, Heart Rock like a a lot. I think your pants look hot. Lawrence, I like you a lot. Lawrence, I like you a lot is not to because most historians believe Alexander Hamilton was possibly bisexual. I like that. Then in Burn, I I felt that emotion. Just saying. That song was amazing. Um she said you while clearing your name you ruined our lives. What I thought that she was talking about in the beginning was her, Alexander, Philip, and all the kids. But now, looking back at it, she was talking about her and Mariah Reynolds. Because I, I did a little bit of history after I watched this. After the Reynolds pamphlet came out, Mariah lost her husband, custody of her kids, and she was a social outcast because she instigated the affair with Alexander Hamilton. And Eliza, her world just came crashing down after that. And even though they didn't go over everything in the play, like they mentioned Philip, like they have Philip in there and they mentioned that he has a sister. They don't, they nod because in I believe it in it's a it's quiet uptown. Alexander says I take the children to church. That's a nod because Alexander Hamilton had seven kids. He had seven kids. <clears throat> then some people are like, wait, what happened to Peggy in the second act? In many different interviews, Lynn has explained Peggy died young. She died in her forties. So she didn't live past the first act. So he said, if you don't live past the first act, you're not going into the second act. That's where Peggy went. And am I the only one that thinks that Alexander Hamilton flew right off the rails after Lawrence died? Because in Lawrence's interview, Liza asked, Alexander, are you okay? First of all, that's a stupid question. How the heck would you feel if you found out that your best friend just died? Stupid question. But after that, he says, I have so much work to do. After that, he works nonstop for the song. He keeps doing everything that he can. He gets into all these fights, these debates. He doesn't sleep. He has the affair. He gets more cocky. While before Lawrence died, he was more laid back. He still worked extremely hard, but he wasn't going as far as he did after the fact. That's how I feel. After he lost that part of him which was Lauren's everything went off everything just flew up the rails but that's just me but Hamilton is amazing 10,000 out of 10 highly recommend I've already watched it 10 times I've constantly listened to the cast soundtrack it, it's amazing and I'm glad that they got all the original cast back together for the recordings um Jonathan Groff hilarious as King George the Third, but one thing that me and my family call him is the King of Spit because if you watch it he is just spitting <laughs> whenever he's King George but it's funny he's spitting but it's funny which shows how into the role he is he doesn't even care he doesn't wipe his mouth nothing but I don't find a problem with it I just find that it's funny and Jonathan Groff and everyone else behind the scenes have just like this incredible relationship they're they're literally so close and tight they're like a family Jonathan Groff and Lynn have the most hilarious relationship. <laughs> like, it, it, it's hilarious. It's amazing. Um, but, yeah, that's my review of Hamilton. Love it. Highly recommend. If you haven't seen it, it's on Disney+. Plus, and that's about all where you can see it. Anyone who has seen it on Broadway, you can now watch it Oh as many times as you want without worrying about having spending uh over three hundred dollars well that's my price is like three four hundred dollars for the tickets without having to spend three hundred dollars and seeing one show having to worry about intermission you can just watch it all the way through you can pause the intermission you can do whatever you like because it's on there forever you can watch it as many times as you want well that's it for my review of hamilton if you guys have seen it, let me know how you felt about it in the comment section below. I will have all my social medias like right here throughout the video. Um, Alright, that's it. 
that was my review. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's your girl, Hannah Hope. Annyeong.